क्वेश्चन टू सो क्वेश्चन टू इज मेक अ चार्ट और अ डायग्रामेटिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन शोइंग रिस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम द सब्सट्रेट इज डीएनए ऑन व्हिच इट एक्ट्स ओके एट द साइट व्हिच इट कट्स द डीएनए एंड प्रोडक्ट एज इट प्रोड्यूसेस सो वी ओवर हियर हैव टू शो अ डायग्रामेटिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ हाउ रिस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम वर्क्स सो your diagram should be something like this okay so your vector is your dna this is your dna now there is a specific site specific site we have got g a a double t c g a a double t c okay now this will be c p p double a and g okay now we have got e coli okay restriction e co r 1 this is restriction enzyme okay now e coli cuts the dna between bases g and a okay so bases g and a it will cut now what will happen this will be one part this will be one part this will be one part and this will be another part okay so now let's separate the two parts so we have got something like g c t t a a and g and the other part is a a t t c okay now what will happen is this is forming this formation is known as a sticky end why because it is not blunt it is forming in l shape so this formation is known as sticky end so eco r1 will produce what sticky ends now another part sticky end will develop or start forming new restriction and a nucleus so this will be a d combination this is our one and the other one we heard is two now this will form a complementary strand here forming a a double t and c and first two dna strands would be joined like this so enzyme cuts both dna strands at the same site now eco r1 cuts the dna between base pairs g and a so they will form two different we've got two dnas right they will form a scissor like structure or an l like structure and they sit into one another now sticky ends are formed and lastly they will be recombined so this is your dna fragment 1 and this is your dna fragment 2 both of them have the same site it will recognize the same site it will cut between g and a okay it will form an l shape now this is your dna fragment 1 and the rest is your dna fragment 2 okay students so just remember this point that is eco ri will cut the dna strand between nucleotides g and a now both of these dna pairs will have same site 
will identify, eco R1 will identify the same site and it will cut, it will form a sticky end and lastly they will combine with one another. So students, this is your question number two.